Bitcoin technical analysis. This is the weekly chart for Bitcoin. And I think it's pretty clear now, there is a clear resistance line from the all time high now touching this new swing high. And it looks like to me a new pattern has been found. Uh, potentially, this is speculation, of course. This is a descending triangle. You could make the case that it's a bull pennant and it could be a bull pennant uh, depending on how you look at it. But you know, we could come all the way back down here to potentially the 30K level again and maybe just kind of bounce up and down and consolidate quite a while longer before eventual breakout retest and hopeful potential to the upside. And that's kind of what happened here in the last bear market, right? We had a, we're having a mini bear market now. And in the last bear market, we can see that the previous resistance, right? We, we broke out of, we came back up, we retested that, and then eventually we blasted off, right? So I'm thinking we, we could do the same thing here. It's just a mini version of this bear market. And we called this a mini bear market, right? And we could potentially see two, maybe a three peak cycle this cycle that could potentially look something like this right where we break out here we reach a new high right and we come back down we maybe consolidate again before a new high right before maybe a double top pattern and maybe come back down like that so if this does indeed play out if we see this descending triangle or bull pennant play out this way i mean the apex of the triangle would be right around January of the new year. And I said in my previous videos that I don't think we're gonna see $100,000 Bitcoin by the end of 2021. Go back and watch that video if you haven't watched it. I think it was like five or six videos ago that I did it. And I said that we'd pretty much have to go straight up from here uh, in a pretty much almost a straight line if we wanted to see $100,000 Bitcoin by the end of the year. And I didn't think it was very realistic. And now that we've gotten this dump, it makes me believe that even more so. A lot of people think that if we can't hold around the $42,000, $40,000 level that we're gonna come back down into bear market territory. And that is possible. And obviously this triangle could break to the downside. You know, we could just consolidate in here and just bounce up and down in this area before eventual breakout to the upside. And if that does indeed play out, you can see that the technical target of this, take that and overlay it somewhere around here. And that would actually give us right around a hundred thousand dollar bitcoin so that's why i say maybe we come back up we hit this target and then we consolidate again a little bit before another third leg to the upside and the reason why i think that we could get a three peak cycle i mean it, it could maybe just be two peaks right where we just break out of this and just go parabolic right and you know double top pattern something like that and just come back down i mean that is obviously a possibility but the reason i think that it could be a three peak cycle is because if we look at market cipher B and we go to the history of Bitcoin, we can see on market cipher B that each bull run, we've hit the 100 line three different times on the momentum oscillator. One, two, three, one, two, three. And we've only hit it one time this cycle. And even in 2011, you can see there's three red dots above the, red, the 100 level on market cipher. And each bull run, we've done this three times. And right now, I mean, we've only hit it one time so far. So that makes me think that we could get another peak here. Maybe we see something like another breakout here, like I said before. We see in the momentum oscillator, we come up like this maybe, right? And we see another peak like this, right? And then we come back down and maybe consolidate like this before a third peak. There's a lot of chatter in the community about lengthening cycle theory and diminishing return theory, mainly lengthening cycles. This would actually coincide and parallel that theory where we see where each cycle takes a little bit longer. In my opinion, I think that the peak of this bull run for Bitcoin is going to be somewhere in this circled area that I've circled up here, anywhere from like 150K up to about 324K. Whether that takes two peaks or we have a three peak cycle where we kind of go up intermittently, consolidate a little bit more and then go up for a third leg. If that scenario plays out, if we go one peak, two peak, three peak, I think that this third peak, I think we'd probably see the top, the, the upper part of this circle area. And again, I just, this is a speculatory circle. I literally just went like this and just drew a circle like that. So it's not exactly, I'm not saying 342,000 is my prediction. I'm just saying this general area, 
I think that if we have a three peak cycle, it's much more likely that we see some of these higher astronomical Bitcoin levels like the three or 400,000. Whereas if we just have a two peak cycle, I think it's gonna come up a little bit shorter, maybe around like the 200,000, 150,000 to $200,000 level before uh, ultimately going down into bear market territory. An 80% retracement from the $175,000 level, that would put us around a $30,000 Bitcoin. And a lot of people think that the new floor for Bitcoin in the next bear market is gonna be 50,000. And you can see that my Fibonacci level kind of coincides with that area, which is why I've extended it. And, you know, if we hit a $300,000 Bitcoin, retracing 80% would give us a $50,000 floor for the next bear market, which is also confluent with uh, of this most recent peak at 64K we've seen. When things are bearish, we've gotta just take a step back and just take a look at the macro perspective and just look at Bitcoin's history. I mean, look how bullish this is. I mean, ultimately, I definitely don't think we're done though. I, I don't think that we're gonna come back down to these lower levels. It is possible that we just have a quick retracement here before just you know, blasting through this Fibonacci, retesting it as support, and then, you know, maybe off to the second leg of this journey, maybe off to the, uh, you know, higher levels. That is possible, but it is also possible that we just consolidate here for a little while, which would give us a breakout of approximately anywhere between March of 2022 and uh, August of 2022 would be kind of the apex. And I've always said, I think this bull market's going to extend into 2022 and 2023. I don't think that we're gonna see the peak of this bull market in 2021. I think it's gonna take a lot longer than that. One last thing that I wanna show you is the same pattern, the same chart, but this is the two day chart. Instead of the weekly, this is the two day chart. And I just wanna show you on market cipher B, the reason why I don't think that this bull market's over and I don't think that this is a dead cat bounce is because look at the money flow wave. What we wanna see in market cipher, an anchor wave and trigger wave and trigger waves, right? We have like a big move to the downside. This was the bear market, the first start of the bear market. Right, we have another bit of red, right? But each time it goes into the red, it's getting shorter and shorter. This is actually a very bullish sign, especially for the money flow wave. We see the same thing in the momentum oscillator. When we see an anchor wave, a trigger wave that gets smaller, another trigger wave that gets smaller, it means that Bitcoin is about to take off. And so if we look at this from a macro perspective on the two day chart, I mean, to me, this is extremely bullish. That doesn't mean there's not room for consolidation. That is, ultimately, this tells me that the bull run is not over. On top of that, the idea that momentum oscillators have crossed the over the 100 line three separate times in that bull run, and we've only hit it one time this bull run. That, that to me is confluence, and that's to me is confirmation that this bull run is not over yet. But I mean, this would be pretty much a 42% move to the downside. From where we are currently, it would be another about 34% move to the downside. So, I mean, it still could get bloody. And obviously we have this Fibonacci level here. We've got the 786 here at 34K and the 618 at 38K. And there's levels in between there that strong support area. So, you know, obviously I want Bitcoin to go up. I want crypto to do well, but the other thing you have to consider is that if Bitcoin does consolidate in this area a little bit longer, right? If we if we do see something like that before an eventual breakout to the upside, think about how what this is going to do for altcoins. This is going to give altcoins the opportunity to absolutely moon and go parabolic. I mean, yeah, obviously if it dumps, they're going to dump as well, but if we can find uh, higher lows in the altcoins, right? When this pumps, when Bitcoin pumps, we're gonna see some massive moves. We, we know that when Bitcoin consolidates, when Bitcoin's in a consolidation phase, that's when we tend to see altcoins do absolutely phenomenal. So we can even look at the Bitcoin dominance, right? We can see that the Bitcoin dominance is, could be forming some sort of a double bottom pattern here, but it's also possible that it, it you know, there's a more macro uh, double bottom pattern here that we could see, and there's more room to the downside, right? So. This first bottom here in January of 2018 came down to the $35 level. And we could see this come down even lower to this lower level again. And if it breaks that lower level, another level to keep an eye out for is the $30 level, right? So if it breaks this even more, I mean, that's altcoins are just gonna have a heyday. Over the course of time, we've seen that Bitcoin's dominance has gotten lower and lower over the course of time. So maybe we do break this and altcoins start to see more gains in the uh, intermediate turn. And uh, I don't think anybody's talking about this. I don't think anyone's talking about this this pattern specifically. I haven't seen anybody on YouTube. I haven't seen anybody on Twitter. So um, hopefully this, I'm the first one who has pointed this out. So if you want to learn how to read these charts, learn how to use Market Cipher, 
find altcoins that absolutely moon and just navigate these crypto waters like a fucking pirate then be sure to get on my email list and be one of the first to get notified when i drop my course crypto trading secrets you can follow me on twitter and instagram at a pure escobar and of course if you like the big gains then be sure to like subscribe and comment down below what do you think about this new pattern that i found what do you think about the idea of consolidating for a while longer comment down below what your thoughts are and if you don't agree, why don't you agree? And the last thing, stay fucking savage.